What is up, YouTube? YouTube! This is Mr. Keen on a Sunday coming at you live. So today we're just going to be going over some answers. And mainly I want to cover the most important ones that we did over the last two weeks. Besides the quiz, the Dragon Genetics. Now, make sure that you do this Dragon Genetics worksheet or uh, this one before you take the quiz because they are both designed to help you on that quiz. Okay, we're just going to jump right into it. So this is a student who did it very well. Here are the answers. So an allele is a version of a gene. So like two different genes for hair color would be like blonde hair or red hair or brown hair. Yeah. Okay, next. Highlight the different allele combinations. So anything with a Wiens gene, since Wiens are dominant, those will all give you Wiens. Okay. Same with metal. Anything with a metal gene will give you a metal dragon. Okay, moving on. So yes, you can make a dragon can have four limbs with a four limbs gene, or if you have both both with four limbs genes, the dragon will still have those legs. Okay, here are the answers here. I'm just gonna go fast. This one was not as important as the next one. Okay. And here are the answers for this one. So remember, dominant, capital letter, recessive, lowercase letter. If you have a capital letter, Anywhere in your genotype, you're going to get the dominant trait. So, for example, if a dragon has M, M, with the one with the capital, they're going to be metal. Okay? Same with this. Big G, little g, they're going to have wings. Okay. But if it's too lowercase, then you're going to get the recessive trait. So, for here, it would be no wings. Okay. Next one. This one was a bit more important. This is the dragon genetics reading, and it also has some practice test questions in there. Okay. So, CFU number one. Two different alleles for the wean gene. That would just be two different versions of a wean, and that'd be weans and no weans. Two different alleles for eye color. That would be green and brown. So those are just two possible eyes. You could have said blue eyes and black, or blue and green, or <clears throat> albino, red and black. Just two different eye colors. Okay. See if you number three. That would be. I just rhyme there. Okay. So two capitals. Capital. Think dominant. Homozygous, homo means same. So homozygous dominant is two capital T's. And the hetero means opposite or different. So two different letters, think heterozygous. Okay. Next, see if you five. So a woman who's heterozygous for black hair, she's going to have a big H and a little H. And phenotype, so genotype are your genetics. So I'm going to give me two letters. And the phenotype is what you look like. So someone with capital H lowercase will have black hair. And then someone with two lowercase H's will have blonde hair. Those are the answers. And then down here's down here for the practice. So if you have a dragon sperm with the dragon egg and they come together, your baby is going to have a capital G and a lowercase g. And they will have weans because they got that dominant wean gene trait. Okay. Ariana Grande has dimples. And... Dimples are dominant, so if you ever have a capital D, you're going to have dimples. So if Ariana Grande is heterozygous for dimples, this will be her genotype. And if she's homozygous and she has dimples, you know she has a capital. And if she's homozygous, she's going to have two capitals. So DD is genotype if she's homozygous. Next, this one was the trickiest one, I think. Morgan Freeman is homozygous dominant for freckles. So use R and lowercase r to represent his genotype. So genotype. It should be two capital R's. Now this one a lot of people missed. What's the chance that Morgan's first child will have freckles? So here's how it works. How to best visualize it, I did a Punnett square. So you know he has two capital R's. So if we do the Punnett square, you're gonna see that all of his kids, no matter what his wife or his girlfriend look like, even if they're both lowercase R's, all of his kids are still gonna get a uppercase R from Morgan or are gonna get the freckle trait. So since he can only give a capital R, all of his kids are gonna have freckles no matter what his partner looks like. No matter what, he's gonna give that capital R to a kid. So a hundred percent chance that his first child and all the rest of his children are gonna have freckles. Okay. Why are there two letters in a genotype and not just one? That one's an important concept. See for example, like Morgan Freeman, he got a capital R from his mom and a capital R from his dad. I have brown eyes, but I got a blue eye allele from my mom and a brown eye allele from my dad. So you get one 
gene slash letter from your mom and one from your dad, you have two alleles, one per parent. Okay, that's a really important concept. And for the end of the day, I always end with a fun fact. So my fun fact for today is going to be that bats are not actually blind. You told this one before. Avery, it was to my office hours people. It's different. Okay, ah. bats aren't actually blind. They just have really bad vision. So they still use that sonar echo location, but it's because they have bad vision, but they're not completely blind. That's a fun fact. Also, bats have really strong immune systems. So that's why they're really good at carrying viruses because they can usually survive a lot of different viruses. And that's why scientists think we got the coronavirus from a bat. Thank you for staying with me all this time. I hope you guys are doing great. You are killing it on Google Classroom right now. And I will see you next week. Bye. Peace out. Bye.